Hello and welcome back. You are learning AWS CloudFront. Now here I am going to create new CloudFront distribution. When we are creating new CloudFront distribution, we have many options to understood. The first origin we already understood this and then we have default cache behavior. I already explained you all the topics related to the default cache behavior but there is a one topic that we need to understand today and this is response headers policy. Most of well-known companies are actually using this. How you can find it out? Let's go to the Netflix. Here I am going to right click and going to click on inspect. Then you have to go to the network tab and then you need to refresh. Now scroll up and go to the first tab. Here you will get this response headers. And in this response headers, we have many options available like strict transport security and there are many more. Now all these are actually response headers. Why it is needed? How we are going to set up this? Why we are going to set this into the cloud front? Let's discuss about all of this. So let's start. In 2024, you should need to learn Docker. But why? To get the answer, join our free upcoming webinar, link is in description. Book your seat now. Thank you. Now, I am going to start with mind map. We already discussed about all these six steps. Let's talk about point number seven. Now here, if you look at this picture, you will get clear understanding about what is use case of response headers policy. Why we are setting this. The symbol of fragile. What is the use of this? By adding this kind of symbol in front of your box, you are giving instructions to the transporter that please take care of this particular box because there are something which is fragile item inside this. Same way, we are using response header policy in communication between browser and web server. Now let's talk about it so you will get better understanding. First of all, response header. A response header is a piece of information sent from web server to your browser when you visit the website. I can say that when you visit website first time. Okay. Think of it like a label on a package that tells you what's inside and how to store or use it. Whenever you will open your website, let's say that if in our case, I am opening Netflix first time. Now, you know that there is a browser who is actually helping me to open the website. My information is actually going through this particular web browser and here I am using Chrome browser. So, whenever you will open website first time, it will go to the Netflix origin. Okay. In normal circumstances, if we are not talking about any age location, it is going to Netflix server. Now, Netflix server will add this response headers to inform web browser that how you can secure communication between web server of Netflix and this specific client. Like I am opening this website, so I am a client. Once... Netflix will provide all the detail. Your browser will store this. And then subsequent communication will be very secure because then your browser will follow all the rules provided into the response headers. So, response headers, it is like, like informing our browser to handle this data. Okay. And because of this, if you are going to use response headers, the communication will be very secure. Now, you may have one question that, okay, but here you are talking about communication between client and origin, right? Why we are talking about this particular topic in the cloud front? As you know that cloud front is used to cache the content from origin and then it is serving this content to the client. Now, if Netflix is using cache location, age location, in this case, 
my request is actually never going to the origin. Whenever I am going to open Netflix and if I am going to watch any movie, my request is going to the cloud front age location. So, instead of origin, we want that cloud front age location will inform our browser that how you can handle this data using response headers. Because as we are using age location, my request will never go to the origin. My request will always go to the age location. Here in the cloud front distribution, we are actually adding all these response headers. So once like first time when you will open Netflix, it will go to the age location and then age location will inform your browser that how to handle this data with care. Okay. So that's why we have to set up response headers in the cloud front. Okay. So response header policy. It is configuration that allow you to add, remove or modify HTTP response headers sent from cloud front to the client. This features enable you to customize the HTTP headers based on the specific needs such as security, caching and content delivery optimization without altering the origin server's configuration. Now, if you want to set up this response headers, how you can do this? First of all, you have to go to the CloudFront dashboard. Here you have policies. Then you have actually mainly three policies. We already discussed about two. So today we are going to talk about response headers. You have to go to the response headers. Now here we have some predefined policy. You can also create your own policy. So you need to click on create response header policy. And from here you can create this. We have policies for the course. We have policies for security headers and all this. Let me explain you all this step by step. The first option we have is cross origin resource sharing. As you know that if your website is coming from multiple source, we have to set up course. And if you have course configure, how to handle course request that you can configure, how to, how to handle a response header for course, you can specify over here. The course configuration option allow you to specify how CloudFront should handle cross-origin requests. If you don't know anything about course, no need to worry. We already discussed about this during the S3 class. So you can watch this video about it. I'm going to provide you a link into the description. So you just need to watch this. So if you have course configured, you have to set up response header for the course. Then we have security headers. Now these are the most important part. Introduction. Security headers are essential aspect of the web application security acting as a protective measures that are implemented at the HTTP response level. These headers provide instructions to the browser on how to handle the content, helping to mitigate variety of security risk and potential exploits. Now, this is the most important part of the um, important use case of the security headers. By configuring security errors, you can enhance the security posture of the website, protect sensitive data, and ensure safe browsing experience to user. They play a crucial role in defending against the attack, such as cross-site cross scripting, clickjacking, man-in-the-middle attack, and pro protocol downgrade attempts. So these are like a crucial part. If you want to save your website from all this attack, you should set up this. You know, if you go to the Netflix, here, look at this. There are many options that we have. We can find it out. Look at this. Strict transport security. This header is already there. And if you want to set up for your website, here we have strict transport security as well. If you click over here, it is asking you about the max size timer and second that you can find out from here into the, into the website of uh, Netflix. Now, here, if you look at this, here we have some security headers. It is ready to use headers that we can use. And all this having a particular use case. Now, it is not necessary to understand use case of each and every security headers because right now we are concentrating on the cloud front. We don't want to understand all the security headers and all this. But still, if you want to learn about it, okay, I have added detail of each and every security, each and every 
security headers. So here I have added this, but I'm not going to read this right now. Why? Because it is not useful for us. Currently it is not useful because our main topic is not security and it is just a detail. So if I'm going to read this, the video will be longer. So I'm just providing you this into the mind map. You guys can download the mind map and then you can read this for your satisfaction. Okay. So here it is all the details about each and every uh, security headers. Then we have custom headers. Sorry, sorry, I know that you want to watch full video, but full video is now not available on YouTube. If you want to watch full video, I want you to go to our website. When you will go to our website, you will find out our course 100 days YouTube challenge. I want you to enroll for this course by paying only 499 rupees for lifetime if you are from India. If you are from outside of India, you just need to pay 7 US dollar. Once you will enroll to this course, you are going to get all full videos over there on our portal. You are also going to get certificate after completing the course. And we have just uploaded 120 videos. We are going to upload another 120 videos as well. So there will be total 240 videos. I hope. We are going to meet inside the class. Thank you very much.